Hi, Geraldine. How you doing? I think I've got your PDF. Uh, I'm sorry, your PSD. Um, right here. Yes. So we're looking at Garden Glitter Grace and um, Okay, now we have the garden glitter. You got this great background here. Good job. And then it looks like you also addressed the type. And um, this is really coming together very, very nicely. I, I, I really like some some of the pieces, parts in here. I think others are are not working, and we'll talk about both what's working and what's not. Okay, so the composition itself, I think this really remains true to what your in, uh, original intent. And if I think. If I remember back correctly, I think, wasn't she kind of floating through a garden watering plants? Um, I think that was a cool idea. Um, so I wonder if we could get her to kind of flow through here while no one's looking. This, this plant creature kind of morphs and starts watering her, her little buddies in the, in the garden. So I think that would be cool. So um, I don't know if this is the right background image. I think it's the, the, definitely the right idea. But this is mostly foliage. I think it would be cooler if it would if it would have like flowers and plants instead of just greenery. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, more like what she has up here and different kinds of flowers and stuff that she could be watering and taking care of. Um, so the, the head looks awesome. I think this is really starting to develop nicely. Um, and then the mouth, I don't know, it just kind of looks like it's kind of puckered. So I, I'm going to suggest maybe trying to build a different kind of mouth. Um, the body looks great. There's no neck, so it just kind of looks like that pot's floating there. And then the arms, I think the arms look really good too. And the body looks awesome. I wonder if we could give her some kind of buttons just to make some sort of continuation. Now, the legs, the, the creature falls apart from here down, okay? And the reason is because you're, you're using the same pot over, 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 and over. So by the time we're looking at the legs, the viewers are just like, all right, we're done seeing enough. I mean, the, the pot for the body is cool, but come on, let's have some legs here. And, and I think that's exactly what's going to happen when you put some legs in here. I think the viewer is going to be much more engaged in something different. Now, and these legs are just falling completely behind the body. You see what I'm saying? They're not connected to the body. Or if this is her little, her little dress... The legs aren't, you know, the legs could go right in the little dress perfectly there, but um, with some masking. But right now they're just kind of dangling behind, and the, sh the the shovel foot is dangling behind that. Okay, so we need to work that more tightly. The the shovel foot's not working because it just gets lost in in the composition. You can't see it. Okay, this type over here isn't working because you can't see it. And then now this type right here. Um, let me see your type layer. Okay, yeah, your type layer. This is not the type. You're probably looking at the saying, I didn't use that typeface. And it's, it's, it's substituting the typeface because my system doesn't have the typeface you use. We know this because of this little warning sign right here. So what you want to do when you resubmit is, is you want to go up to your type across the top, of the menu across the top where it says type. And when it drops down, you want to select your type layer and either rasterize your type layer or convert to, um, um, I'm sorry, you, you want to rasterize your type layer. So let me see. Let me see. Where is that type layer? There it is, Garden Glitter Gray. So type, convert, uh, um, I'm sorry, rasterize type layer. And that way that the viewer, I'll be able to see it on my end without the, um, um, without having the typeface on my system, okay? Make sure you don't do that to the original. Make sure you only do it to, the, to a copy, okay? Because once you rasterize that type layer, it's no longer editable. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, but you must do it so I can see it because we're submitting a PSD instead of a PDF. Make sense? All right. Uh, background, the shadow's not working and, and the composition isn't working either. And I'm going to tell you why. The creature is too big in the composition. So I suggest the, the creature being a little smaller in the composition just as to have an idea of what's going on around the perimeter, around, around the, the, the peripheral of the, 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 the creature, so to speak. Um, typically, if you have a, a, this kind of upward arc, you would put it above the creature to kind of frame the creature. So again, I think of being smaller might be a little bit more of a, an ideal situation. Drop shadow is, do you, you've handled the drop shadow exactly the way you're not supposed to. <laughs> um, so I want you to take a look at the video and especially look at that, that adding a cast shadow or um, not a drop shadow. Drop shadow is not what you want. Um, and the video will show you why. So those changes, you're at 8 by 10 at 300, so you only have those changes I mentioned, and you're good. Um, 
Oh, wait a second. A couple of things. These are brought in without, um, without masks. Okay, no good. Everything in here has to be with a mask. So in other words, yeah, these are perfect. Yeah, everything else, the masks are great. I don't see a mask working there. There's a good mask. Okay, so just so you know, I, need, I would check all the layers to make sure the masks are working. So these need to be masked and that mask, that mask, the, all the pots are brought in with no background as well. So I'd like you to really, you know, to get all the points that you can out of this assignment, you need to bring in the original image and mask it out in, in so that all, every, um, element is is uh, accessible by a, a layer mask okay so keep that in mind please and then make those changes um other things i mentioned cast shadow not a drop shadow and we're good to go okay sorry i took so long um geraldine but um okay cool thanks